Cowboys picked up the fifth year option on Zeke for 2020, but now Dallas has some contracts it needs to figure out. The Cowboys have to make decisions on their leading passer, their leading rusher, and their leading receiver from last year. That's Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper, each entering the final years of their contracts. Zeke still has two years remaining because of his fifth year option. And so here is the big swagoo. I will ask you the question, and again, you were a Cowboy in your, in your soul, and you played for them, and you live in Dallas. Do the Cowboys need to take care of Zeke and give him a contract extension as quickly as they can? As quickly as they can, no, but they need to get it done in a, in a timely manner. Because? Because Zeke is 40% of their offense, mm -hmm. right? And look, we, we're having a conversation about a position that always has questions about if you extend the guy long term. And there are those stories out there. But has 21 shown you to be injury prone? Nope. Has he, has he made Dak Prescott immensely better? Absolutely. Did he, was he the only bright spot when this offense was struggling before Amari Cooper showed up? Absolutely. So when you look at a player with that much impact on a franchise, on an organization, Zeke almost ran for 1,000 yards. Well, he did run for 1,000 yards and missed six games. Like, the talent is there, but you talk about what he's worth to the organization – you pay a guy like that. Here's the problem, and I hate that I have to say this, but when you pay a running back, you are always paying them for the past and almost never for the future. I used to have an expression on the old show, mamas don't let your babies grow up to be running backs <laughs> because their lot in life is to be run into the ground and then moved on from. And the Cowboys themselves did it just a few years ago. And the reality of it is, because they drafted him in the first round, they get that fifth year. Yep. So he's still got two years left. Do you know what he's going to be three years from now? Less good than well, he is now. Look, That's the reality at that position. Here, here's the thing, Gene. They, they drafted a running back, Mike Weber, from Ohio State. They want to pull carries off of Zeke. But, but you can't... I tell you this all the time. You and I had this conversation. Talent ain't just walking around out there. And when you talk about the NFL, you have guys that are really good NFL players. You have good NFL players, which I was. And then you have elite guys. Ezekiel Elliott's career has lended itself to being elite at his position. So you pay guys like that. There is a risk for every player that you play. You think the Cowboys want to make Dak the highest-paid quarterback? Hell no. Has Dak played to warrant being the highest-paid quarterback? Nope. But that is what the market is going to suggest. When you pay Zeke, you know exactly what you're getting. Right. And I can tell you exactly. You just made my point for me. Dak Prescott figures to get better as time goes on, and Zeke is guaranteed to get worse. Listen, I hate saying this. I hate it because it is completely unfair to the running back. He's just getting handed the ball. And you know what's going to happen this year? They're talking about scaling back his carries. They're talking about scaling back his touches. And then all of a sudden, they're five and four. And you know what? We got to give Zeke the damn ball. People Zeke, are going to start talking. He's going to say, give me the ball. But, and that's what's going but, to but happen. But we, we, we have a conversation about this every year. And everybody talks about the spread offense and all of the things that's going on. What the hell won the Super Bowl for the Patriots last year? Sony Michelle, I get it that he's a young running back. There is still validity to the position. There are teams that are paying running backs for playing well. Like, the, that's the risk you take for every player. Take, take, you want to talk about Dak? Yeah. Let's take Tony Romo, right? Yeah. They paid Tony Romo a crazy amount of money. Right. What happened? His back never healed. It's any player. The running back position, obviously, there is more risk. But any player in the NFL, Amari Cooper wants $18 million a year. How do you pay Amari Cooper $18 million a year when Oakland, he didn't play well in Oakland. I know he came to Dallas and did a tremendous job. The only, only, only mainstay successfully in your franchise for the last three to four years has been Ezekiel Elliott. Mm -hmm. That's been the mainstay. Offensive line has been up and down. Guys have been injured. Unfortunately, what Travis Frederick has going on, Tyra Smith had been completely healthy. The one guy that has been the mainstay, you saying don't pay him. Yes, unfortunately, 100%. Sony Michelle was a rookie last year. The Patriots have won six Super Bowls with six different running backs. You can find someone to do that. And it's not so much about Zeke not being great as it is about Zeke not being great five years.
years from now? Where was Todd Gurley with all that money they were paying him last year in the NFC Championship with a, with a, game with in the Super Bowl? With a knee injury, but I will ask you this, because you're a Jets fan. Yeah. Why pay for Le'Veon Bell then? Because they needed something to start the whole thing going. Okay. It is risky and probably in the long run will not wind up being So you it. need something to start the whole thing going, but you don't need something to keep the whole thing going. Uh, listen, I, I was in favor of the Le'Veon Bell thing because I feel like it makes a bit of a statement to the organization, and I think it helps Sam Darnold develop, which I think is the most important thing yep. they can do. Do I think that three years from now, Le'Veon Bell will be earning the money they're paying him? Probably not. We're we in, we in a scary time because you're having this conversation. That dude, 21, is damn near going to be a Hall of Famer when he finished playing football, and we're having a conversation about why he shouldn't get paid. Okay, what you have just witnessed was me and Swagoo's first fight. Yes. Are we okay? Yes, I, I love we're okay. you. All right, I love you too. Okay, I think okay. everything is okay. okay.